Welcome to Myers Reefs. Here's a quick video of the 180 gallon reef. Hasn't been videotaped a whole bunch. Running two G4 Radeon Pros on the outside and two G3 Radeon Pros on the insides. Jabo gyre pump, CP40 I do believe on the left and two MP40s on the right. Everything's kind of plumbed in, wired up down below. Two inch and a half drains, inch and a half return going up to a one inch. Tank is mostly SPS dominated. Up top, plate corals, acros, some Montes, Digi. Some fire digi in the back there, nice bird's nest. Started off from like a half inch frag. Green Monty plate growing in the back. <coughs> Pretty happy with uh, how everything is coming along, growing out. And we do have some meteor showers over here on the left. With some mushrooms, got a big Fabia on the back. Plate corals here on the bottom. Green, purple with green tentacles. This one we bought when it was dying. And uh, managed to get it back to life. Got a Galaxia, I do believe it is, there in the back. Some candy canes. Donut, brain, Euphilia garden, some hammers. Got some zoas growing here, starting a little zoa garden. And more SPS on the top right as well. Got a Millie there in the back. Seems to be growing, but not very much polyp extension on the Millie. More mushrooms. A few clams here on the bottom. Another plate coral. And some sun corals. They do come out quite a bit at night. Yeah, now for fish. Powder blue and on a blonde Nassau tang. We got a Niger trigger over here. Purple tang in the back. There's the Nassau Coral Be Beauty. A couple wrasses. Damsel. A couple mandarins if I can find them. Do have some tube anemones in here, black and green, and in the back we got a pink one. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yeah, so. Pretty much sums it up for the 180 gallon. Doing really well. Uh, yeah, no complaints. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll head downstairs here and I'll uh, do a rundown of the heart of the system, the sump, and the 150 gallon refugium. Talk about that a little bit. Maybe do a year and a half update. And yeah, growing out nicely. Well, here we go, everyone. We're down here in the basement now, checking out the heart of the 180 gallon mixed reef tank that you've seen upstairs. 
Might as well do a year and a half update as well on the Royal Exclusive Dream Box. And I got the 150 gallon uh, horse trough. Just a holding tank. Pretty much use it as my refugium. So, pounds of Pucani rock in here and uh, Chato. A couple mangroves. Oh, Hattie's coming to say hi to everybody. Come on, Hattie. You saying hi? That's our Sphinx. One of our Sphinxes, anyways. You want to see more of them? You can go to Rudest Little Nudists. It's the wife's YouTube channel there. She's just starting to upload a few videos of the cats and everything. So, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, getting back to the reef tank set up here. The stock trough. Running a chiller as well. It does get pretty warm in the house here in the summertime. Winter, not so bad. So, uh, yeah. Running the Neptune Apex still. Running really well. No complaints, no issues. Tons of Osmo later, top off. Here's my auto top off bin, root trash can. I'm going to use that as a, a skimmate cup, pretty much, once I plumb it in. It's kind of just got the hose hanging out up there. It's not tied into the skimmer or nothing like that. So yeah, dream box, loving it. Bubble King skimmer, loving it. Also running the Aqua Driver skim clean on top, the 250 millimeter. Works really well. Got it to set. Uh, got it to wipe every day at noon for about 20 to 30 seconds. I do believe. So I'll run in a couple media reactors. Got some bio pellets in there and some phosphate down and a little bit of carbon. Yeah, running with the Red Dragon Speed Pump DC. Running both five liter. Uh, Royal exclusive media reactors. Run the Jabo dose pump now as well as I've started dosing. The Aqua Forest Component 123 seems to be going pretty good. Got no complaints so far. Everything seems to be working out well. Uh, yeah, I think I dose about 180 milliliters a day. So it keeps all my parameters in check. So, now I am also mixing it, uh, I buy it by the bucket, so and then I just mix it on my own. Yeah, so, oh, there's Hattie again, she wants to help out the video. Yeah, so, all running, still from the uh, reflow, Hammerhead Gold. I'm going to be picking up another one here soon, probably, just so I have a backup, maybe I'll plumb it in. So, Refugium White, it's just an eBay special, or Amazon special. You're in the way. Patty, oh, she wants to come say hi. Say hi. Yeah, so that pretty much does it for the updates. Can't be more happier with the setup. Everything seems to be running really well. Uh, yeah. So I'm just starting out here. These are some of my first videos. If you guys can see anywhere that needs improvement or anything like that, you know, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah. Also, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel. I'm trying to do more and more videos. So, oh, one more thing. I'm thinking about running Miracle Mud in my refugium. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Have you ran Miracle Mud before? Um, did you like it? Did you stop running it for a reason? Uh, or do you just go deep sand bed in your refugiums? Yeah, so leave that in the comments below as well. Interested to hear on thoughts. So, well, that's pretty much my setup. Thanks for watching.